Bro, I was for the people, bro. I was a script kitty, and I would exploit the fuck out of that school. I don't know if I should talk about this. I'll mention a little bit. Maybe not all of it was for the people. Like, for example, with the USB killer stuff. Like, I took a USB killer, and I completely fried all the USB ports on every computer in multiple classrooms. Or, like, the Wi-Fi jammer. Like, I had the Wi-Fi jammer in my car, and I would occasionally um, knock the school Wi-Fi offline so we didn't have to take quizzes or shit like that. Or, uh, like, the Kahoot game. There was, like, a Kahoot uh, Chrome extension Kahoot plaster or Kahoot uh, stressor or something like that, which would add thousands of people to the Kahoot, and they would all just have um, random answers submitted. This one time a girl pissed me off. Her name was Tatiana, and she like took our badminton thing and like uh, the birdie and like threw it on top of the bleacher. She was in like body sculpting. She came down there, she was like a hoe talking to some of these dudes. We were just like being really loud and obnoxious and the birdie laying next to her like, hey, pass it over here. And she threw it on top of the bleachers, which we had plenty more birdies, but like just, just as like a, as like a petty thing, I um, use my Wi-Fi jammer to uh, permaban her IP from ever connecting to the Wi-Fi ever again. And um, the way it worked is what it would do is it, it would continuously connect and disconnect her phone from the Wi-Fi rapid fire like 10, 20 times a second. So she couldn't disconnect from the Wi-Fi either. And she couldn't restart her phone to fix it. Um, it was like an IP ban. And she also couldn't use data because it would turn on and off her Wi-Fi like 10 times a second. So she was screwed for a while. And I think she got a new phone like a week later. So this is the first time I'm ever telling anyone that actually. No, I told I told the group chat. But if, uh, if Tatiana ever sees this, I'm sorry I did that to your phone. But that kind of power can really get to your head. Especially when these like normie girls who don't even know what the fuck is going on make themselves such easy targets. They don't use VPNs or anything. I should get a sponsorship from a VPN company before I tell these kinds of stories. Because that would really help out. Because I really could sell a VPN.